Hey, Foot Geeks fans, today we want to talk about how to widen a shoe. Now, there's a couple things you got to keep in mind before you start, you know, just stretching that shoe out. Uh, number one is obviously materials. So materials are pretty important because different materials will respond differently to stretching. And one of the things that I usually recommend is uh, check the inside labels of the shoe. So if you have, for example, a leather shoe like this, uh, obviously that's a sandal, so that's quite adjustable. You may not have to stretch it, but in some cases, if the leather is very stiff in here, you may want to stretch, obviously, certain spots in this particular uh, footwear. So one of the things to keep in mind when you're looking at the inside of the shoe, oftentimes there will be markings on the inside of the footwear that look something like this. So you can see uh, there's an arrow that points to the upper, and that basically means that the upper here, in this case, is made of leather. Uh, and then there's an arrow here that kind of points to the inside, which is also as a leather lining in this particular sandal. And then the outside, as you can see, is pointing to the sole. So there's a little arrow there that shows a diamond, and the diamond means man-made material. So those are some of the things to consider when you're looking at the inside of the shoe. Uh, there's also another one, which is a mesh, and I'll show you on this particular shoe here. So I don't know if you can see that in there. Uh, but uh, if I push that down a little bit, you can see probably right in here. There's uh, also those symbols inside the shoe, and uh, those symbols basically show a uh, diamond for the outside. Uh, they also show a diamond for the inside, and I believe there's a mesh, obviously, for the upper uh, that uh, is being used. So that's um, uh, kind of a different uh, way to look at it, and you can see that there's definitely those three symbols inside the running shoes there as well. Now, if the shoe doesn't have that, sometimes they will write it in. So there may be something like it says mesh upper or man-made upper and it may say leather lining or leather upper. So those are things that may be written on the inside of the shoe. So do check those markings because if you do know what the shoe is made of, it's going to be a lot easier for you to stretch it. Okay, so next let's uh, hop into the workshop and then I'll show you how different materials are stretched. Okay, so now we want to talk about how to widen a shoe. Now, as you're already aware, there's different materials and different materials will stretch in different ways. So one of the things that I would uh, keep in mind is that once you understand what the uh, materials are made of, uh, you can then obviously make sure that you stretch the shoes appropriately. Uh, I mean, certain materials will not stretch very well um, because, you know, if they're very flexible, those materials will not widen very well because it will kind of bounce back to original state very easily. And that's going to be difficult to stretch it. Now, the, the Pedors is a bit of an exception because this particular product is heat moldable. So we can technically uh, go with a heat gun like this. We can turn the heat gun on. We can move around the area right here. And you can see as we do this, I'm doing that in that small little circle to make sure that the material itself doesn't start to burn. Because if you're holding it in just one position, it will actually cause the material to deteriorate and uh, shrink and then also uh, burn in that case. So what we do is we just gently heat up the material and in some cases you can use a hair dryer at home. Hair dryers at home are oftentimes hot enough to be able to create uh, enough heat to be able to then stretch out this material. So now as I heat this up, what I can do, I can either use a tennis ball or I can use my fingers to then basically go in and stretch out the material on the shoe. As you can see now, I'm holding this. And you kind of want to hold it a little bit of time just to make sure that this material is stretching out and then staying in that position. All right, there you go. You can see now where my fingers were, it's actually created a little pocket. So that's obviously a, a great feature in the shoe uh, for somebody that has hammer toes or bunions because now we can open up the shoe and create a little bit of a pocket for it. Uh, but it's just something to keep in mind when you have certain footwear, you can use a heat gun to do this. Uh, a lot of uppers nowadays are also made out of um, kind of plastics, uh, which also are, are heat moldable. So I usually recommend using a heat gun to do this. Certain materials like this ultra suede material right here is not really heat moldable. Uh, so I would usually use this one here uh, with a point stretcher. So if I want to, for example, stretch out the toe in this particular shoe, I would use a point stretcher. And most of the time what we'll do on the, on the other side here, we'll use a backing just to make sure that we don't create like rings on the, um, on the shoe, right? So you can see with this one particularly uh, that there's this, this ring here and there's a ball on the other side that basically pushes through the middle. So as I 
put pressure on it, you can see how it sticks out. And that's how it applies pressure on the material and then allows us to then push it out to create, you know, a little bit of a pocket, you know, for maybe the toe or whatever else is rubbing on the top. So if the client has issues with that, you know, we can kind of move it around, stretch at different spots to then create a little bit of a pocket for the uh, foot to sit in. And that's going to allow us to, you know, then obviously create a little bit more give in the material, especially when as, uh, you know, a little bit stiffer like this one, and maybe not heat moldable. That's a great way to to work on opening it, opening up the material, stretching it out a little bit. Now, do you got you got to keep in mind that leathers and ultra suede and any kind of man-made material has a little bit of a um, restriction as to how much you can stretch it, and eventually it's going to break, right? So it's going to be a a breakage coefficient uh, that is going to cause the material to stretch to a point where it will tear and then uh, that's you know why you usually want to go gentle to start and then slowly kind of add a little bit more but um, eventually it will tear especially if you stretching a um, athletic shoe that has you know a mesh upper that can definitely tear much more easily whereas leather is usually a little bit stronger and especially if there's overlays there's a little bit more um, ability for that leather to then be able to stretch now if you do have shoes at home i often have to recommend getting a stretch liquid now these stretch liquids uh, just kind of especially for leathers to stretch the leather you want to have stretch liquid to be able to soften that leather uh, and and kind of soak it in the in the um, liquid and uh, what it does it helps to make the leather more supple so that it will stretch more easily uh, so now if you don't have a, a stretcher machine like this one at home uh, what you can do is you can you know use a stretch liquid like this on the leather shoe spray it on and then walk in that shoe with a thick or maybe like maybe you can add like a couple pairs of socks wear them together inside the shoe and walk around the house while the shoe is wet to then try to stretch out the leather a little bit further for yourself uh, which is obviously going to help open up that shoe for you and the um, other thing in you know shoe repair shops and shops like ours we do have mechanical stretchers so these handy dandy devices do the stretching for us we don't have to use that much muscle to be able to do this uh, and uh, i'm happy to say that i do have a shoe here from a client that i need to stretch so you guys are going to be witnessing me do this uh, this is a patent leather so this is a mephisto shoe and uh, it does have a, a leather lining and a leather upper so that's definitely something that we can stretch with a bit of a stretch liquid patent uh, doesn't Ha allow the uh, stretch liquid sometimes to soak in that well so we oftentimes will also spray it on the inside which i'll actually do right now and uh you know basically wet the leather from the inside because there is leather obviously on both sides but you can see it doesn't really penetrate that easily into the leather right here uh and then what we'll do is put the uh, stretcher in there and in this case because she has a little bit of excessive pressure on her little toe what we've done is we've taken this form which we call a last uh, and then on the stretcher you know it gets put on uh, pushed on uh, we have a little piece on the back this piece basically makes this stretcher go this way as opposed to um, if we leave it off what the stretcher does it goes this way so it kind of widens this way whereas if we do put it on it will widen like that and that's going to push out the side here and prevent the uh, the the device from you know widening out the shoe where we don't really want it because we want to stretch it out where the little toe is and not really in the front right here so that it has to go out like that uh, so I'll put it on we slide it on and I do put the uh, tension on the back part here just to keep the shoe from sliding off the stretcher that's why we do this and then as we do that I kind of hold it in place there uh, now the next step is for us to widen the front of it and you can see when you look right here that the shoe is going to start pushing out right and because i made it wet mostly on this side the leather is going to really stretch mostly on that particular side of the uh, footwear and it's not going to do that so much on the other side and once you know we get to a point that we like we keep it there and then obviously allow that uh, shoe to kind of settle into this new position uh, usually overnight uh, or the weekend you know, depending on how long we leave it on the stretcher for but uh, that's basically how we stretch this shoe now one last thing we want to address is uh, comes to uh, softening heel counters sometimes people find that the material may be around the 
uh, back of the shoe is a little bit hard. Uh, so one of the things you can do from home is just kind of soften the heel kind of by just breaking it down a little bit, pushing it in this direction and just making that all a little bit softer. Now if you have any other questions regarding stretching footwear and widening shoes, please don't uh, hesitate to post your comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to us yet on YouTube, do so right over there. Have an awesome day.